<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... <laughs> sure thing, boss. <laughs> sure thing, boss. Welcome back to some more... Who are you? Nitro bullets. Yeah, Got you it. have to unlock items again, because you're bad. Okay, I bought most of them back already out of the uh, thingies. Anyways, let's continue back down. In the previous episode, we talked about gooning. <laughs> Yeah, Luke said he loves it. Yeah, off camera I was like, I, I secretly admitted that's that's me. No, not really. That'd be yeah. awful. He's a, he's a mega goon. <laughs> the leader. The original. <laughs> he's not he's not a goon. He is the goon. <laughs> oh lord, we started with something cursed. We've got ourselves the- That's a great opening to a video, because anyone who's, like, new has already clicked away. You are gaining <laughs> no new audience members from this. Uh, that's fine. Randomized stats upon entering combat. Armor of the Fallen. Temporary stat boost after falling in pits. Less damage to jammed enemies. Less damage to jammed oh, that's enemies. A, that's a good pun. Less damage- Why would I want this? What- I'm Just sorry to see how, it, see how it goes. Roll with it. Roll with it, my dude. If it was if it was a permanent damage increase after falling in a pit, it'd be okay. But a short damage boost after falling in a pit, which basically never happens, and then less damage to jammed enemies, seems pretty D tier to me. And it's C tier. Confusing. Confusing. Anyways. Sorry, it might uh, not be a huge decrease. Sorry to, to 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 bully right off the bat. No, yeah, I I always like to open with something strange because it means like I'm actively sabotaging you, and you'll never <laughs> leave me because you'll never become famous. <laughs> I'll actually have you know, since we last recorded a video, I've gone up a few hundred subscribers, so I'm I'm slowly climbing out wow. of the pits of despair that is this relationship. Sometimes I, I just sit back and think, man, I'd be I'd have so many subscribers if I uploaded. <laughs> you would, honestly. <laughs> like you, you like if you if you had a consistent schedule, especially like when you were in your prime of YouTube, if you'd have consistently uploaded from then, you'd have like over a hundred thousand by now easily. Don't don't say I'm past my prime, I can make a comeback. No, I mean I, no, I you're, you're not past your prime. Gunjin's past its prime. I really don't think it is, because I still, like, when I do upload, I get good numbers. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not saying as in, like, it's past its prime as in no one watches it. I mean, as in, like, when you were originally uploading, Gungeon wasn't its heyday. It was still getting updates and stuff. True, true. But also, like, I'm glad it stopped. Because yeah. it means that it's, like, yeah. it's one thing now, and it's not fucking amorphous. And it's not going to break mods or anything like that. Yeah, that's that is kind of the blessing that the modding community for Gungeon only really took off after update yeah, stopped. It is. That is that is kind of a blessing in disguise. It's kind of a rare thing to happen. Don't really, have isn't to it? worry about that. Yeah, we don't have to worry. Yeah, it's very we nice. We are going to be okay. <laughs> but yeah, well, I, yeah. I, 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 I said know. to never name. I've fuck. never been, but never been fucking like bust with success like, yeah well that's that's same I to just, me i've 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 never like i've never strived to get like tons of subscribers in fact um what, what, what is this i check what this is razor rifle um oh i love this this is one of mine nice um you will I, appreciate me i uh oh, it's, it's you again hello oh, all of these are very good but i'm not gonna be able to afford them i don't think um, I've had quite a few videos that have done extremely well, and I know how to make those videos that do extremely well, but they take a lot of effort and they aren't particularly what I want my channel to be about, so I don't make them very often. But I've done like an Undermine tutorial, I've done Gungeon tutorials, and I've done a few others here and there, um, and they've all done extremely, extremely well. And if I just did those videos, because I know how to do them and I've done them well in the past. If I just did those videos, I think my channel would be far more successful. But that isn't the content I want to make. I want to make this sort of content. Even if it doesn't do as well. Yeah. Man, I love the visuals for Blood. That took me so yeah. fucking long. Looks really good. Like the fact that it 
goes from a, a thing to a number. Oh. It seems real good, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is actually a powerful gun, because every shot inflicts a level of bleed. It's very nice. Unfortunately, we're not ah. getting anything from this little shop. Sorry. Maybe... Oh, fuck. I wonder I if this little... crawl out of the recycling bin. Oh. oh, lot. I wonder if this little shop appears on the first floor every time, because it's appeared on the first floor both times now. So, I'll have Sorry, to keep that I've, in mind. I've just been sitting in a recycling bin this whole time. Sitting in a recycling bin. Well, yeah, I'm in my chair, but my feet are in the recycling bin. So I'm, like, in the bin. Is anything else in the recycling bin? Yeah, recycling. What? What? Plastic. Why have you got your feet in the trash? Because it's kind of soft, and it's what was there. Plastic. It's kind of soft. A material yeah. well known for being soft. Literally! What do you think it's polyester is? Well, plastic isn't soft. I, if, I'm guessing you mean plastic bottles, right? Yes. That's not soft. Dude, dude, no. Back in the day, right? Back in the day, people would make beds out of, like, twigs and leaves. And well, they're not it's... soft on their own, but if you stack up enough of them, they they, they combined are more than the sum of their soft. <laughs> Some of their soft. Right? I mean, like, if you, if I, I a guess... pile of twigs is softer and more pleasant to lie on than one you... twig. It's like a bed of nails. You make a good point, but how many bottles do you have in there? Oh, like one or two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're making points that don't have any relevance to what I'm currently talking about. <laughs> I know full well that I'm talking absolute hogwash, but it's just fun to string you along sometimes. <laughs> You are- you are incorrect for putting your feet in the bin. You are a wrong- Yeah, it's fine. I still don't know why Bunny filled this room with broken parts. Yeah, it's very strange, isn't it? They- they- they just stand out a little. Oh, I wonder this if thing I'll is, appear before you kill the minibus. This is doing such good work. My god. Yeah, I, no I'm really happy with the though. bleed effect. Yeah, it's, it's real good. Real good. Oh, uh, it's a super tiny baby projectile. Yeah, it re-rolls each room, so... Get used to it, fucking... Gun boy. Gun boy. Oh, actually, I recently came across a, uh, someone who's been... Apparently making YouTube videos on my inscription mod for the last 10 months, and I had just never <laughs> heard of this, and I no, nobody told me. Oh, shit. Well, more realistically, someone did tell me, and I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Are they, uh, are they, uh, English YouTuber? Like, English speaking? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, I think, I think, actually, I think they're American, so even better. Amazing. Yeah, they're not Do from they... the colonies. Oh, they are from the colonies, actually. Is, is, that, is that your specific mod, the Act 1 mod? Um... So, sorry? You, you've you you've released a mod that only you worked on, right? That of inscription. That's the, yeah. A, that's yeah. Act 1 stuff, so only. Yeah, it's Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. Oh, I thought it was only Act 1. Okay, fair enough. Well, it probably was the last time we talked about it, but yeah. since then I've uh, I've gotten better. I'm really also proud with this blood effect, how the enemy gets progressively more red the more stacks of it you apply. Yeah, I noticed that with the boss. Um... But yeah, this guy, uh... What's his name? Kalua? No, that's a type of tea. What's his fucking name? Is Kalua a type of tea? You should know this. Kalua is a type of alcohol. Oh! <laughs> Have I been drinking get tea roll? <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking of chamomile tea? Uh, entirely possible. Kahlua's definitely booze. Kailoa. Kailoa. Yeah, that was his. He that... does like. Okay. He just does. He's just a uh, just a regular YouTuber, but he uh, has an inscription series, and he regularly plays with mods and. My mod is like a mainstay, and it's like, nice. Oh, I have ten months of content to go on, to go back and look at. So I've, of course, been doing that for the past couple of days. Is he, uh, is he a fairly well-known YouTuber inscription, or is it just some uh, um, smaller YouTuber? He's a smaller I YouTuber. I said, I, I said that like, I said I had like uh, some sort of disdain. Is he just some small YouTuber? I didn't mean he's it like much, that. 
he is much the same as you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like he has he he ha he's just he's like you if you had a laid back vibe and not like an not like an ADHD vibe. <laughs> I, I've uh, recently been hanging out with um, someone from Katie's uh, work and his girlfriend, and we've sort of been good mates with them, and she has pretty bad ADHD, and she seems to think I have ADHD. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm telling you. Dude, this paired with the fucking razor is amazing. Consecutive hits increase the damage they take to a max of plus 75%. Oh. On bosses, that's going to be very nice. But yeah, it's actually been it's been nice to listen to him play the mod while I work on the mod because he's just like, and we're gonna hmm. So this card it does. Uh, oh, but why, why is why does it say Lorem Ipsum? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know why it says Lorem Ipsum. Also, can I make it over the snap? Oh wait, I don't take pit damage now. That's good. It did help me. That item eventually did help me. It's um, it's just nice to bang his own and be like, oh, so this card. Uh, does this. Hmm, interesting. That's pretty good. I'm going to take it because it's a high blood and uh, that's good for offensive damage. It's going to help us against the grizzly bosses. And it's, it, that's nice. That's nice to listen to. Until my mod breaks and then I just want to cry because <laughs> I've made like a bad sixth impression on this guy. With my, uh, yeah. I thought it was that. I, I you know, if, if something ever just break. Like with you, I've stopped time, caring. Man. With you, I've stopped caring. <laughs> I don't know if this gun has a high enough fire rate to really work. Yeah, it. it doesn't. I didn't realize the combo decayed over time. Also, I'm frozen, even though I didn't think I was. Also, I got hit by that again. Lovely. Yeah, it, it doesn't have a high enough fire rate, unfortunately. I, I I didn't realize the combo decayed. I thought the combo disappeared once you missed your first shot, but it seems to just decay over time. So, unfortunately, this gun doesn't really work with it, which is a shame. Blood does also slowly tick down over time, so you gotta like keep the combo up, but it yeah. takes a bit longer. Unfortunate damage I took that. I just love the fucking Lorem Ipsum, it's fucking stupid. Dead Ringer. Dead Ringer. Tactical defeat. Vain death and become stealth upon taking damage. Shooting while stealth deals 10x damage and removes That's stealth. Okay, so I can steal from I'm the sorry, shop with this. The French government is an an entity in the lore of this mod? What? Developed by the French government. Okay, yeah, that's... Uh, huh? <laughs> Base France? Hello? Let's, let, let's, let's, make, a, let's make a French um, gungeoneer with a, a little barrette on a cigarette. Oh, that'd be so good. And or like, or, or even a bullet kin. A little bullet kin, maybe. They start with the cigarettes item. Do you know what would be good? Um, a little, a little mime bullet kin, um, with a little beret on. I think someone's already sprited that just for fun. It, probably Dallin, right? Dallin yeah, sprited everything Dallin. just for fun. That that is one thing. I like. I'll, I. Dallin is like one of the most talented sprite artists. Like he's just insane, and it's just such a shame that his sprites never make it into the game. I get why, because he he just makes them for fun. But and obviously yeah, like he has to make sprite sheets for everything. It wouldn't it wouldn't just be one sprite. But he makes sprites that no one asks him to make for things that people like have no idea how to incorporate into yeah. the game. And that and it's completely fine because they're cool. They're really cool, yeah, they're just, they're just good to look at and stuff, but it would be awesome to see all of his random shit make it into the game one day. That, like, that would that just would be... That would be an insane mod. Yeah, Dallin exactly. Dallin mod, where someone takes all of Dallin's sprites and just tries to find a way to interpret them into the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the only ones, obviously, that'd be difficult is, like I said, a lot of the um, bulletkins and stuff he's made, obviously, they'd need to be fully sprited rather than just a single sprite. But that would well, be really could fun. Just to be see. a single sprite that menacingly floats <laughs> yeah. towards you. Yeah, that'd be funny. Oh, yeah, fuck, I... I need to work on enemies for my mod at some point, which should be easier now that I'm working with asset bundles for sprites and stuff. Hopefully but, so. Yeah. Uh, at the same, at the same time, I also need to uh, finish what I'm currently doing with optimizing. Yeah. Honestly, I've, I've finished... one one good thing. I, I like. Have you actually updated the mod with your asset bundles yet? I don't think you have, have you? Not yet, no. Yeah, I have definitely noticed my, with my new PC, my load times are significantly reduced. 
Um, well, yeah, but... this, this PC can play Skyrim. It can play anything. Exactly, yeah. Um, they, they are definitely reduced, but um, still, it, it's still a couple of minutes, but it's down from like 20 minutes to like two or three minutes. Yeah, I was fucking wondering, because I, I don't get that many load times, even when I play with a lot of mods. Um, yeah, mine were excessively bad. But yeah, um... What was I saying? This, this room is kind of horrible. Oh, good thing we don't know who made it. Ah, you fucking bitch of a room. I hate this. If only you could jump in pits to protect yourself from damage. Fuck off. <laughs> I forget things. Oh, how is this A tier? Not A tier. B -tier. It's not A tier. It's actually not A tier. I think you'll find. Because it locks enemies in place yes. and it can completely cheese some bosses. I suppose that's true. I suppose that's true. I'll be honest. I, I, I didn't. I didn't actually realize it was this gun. Also, th is this your gun? Yes. Can I be a bit mean? Can I stop you? <laughs> no. Its sprite sucks. <laughs> like yeah, it's meant to be a tiny little hot glue gun. But yeah, it is also it just, an old sprite. I, I could probably say, like, redo it if I gave it. Uh, if I gave a care, I could probably it's, redo it. It's like, in the in the grand scheme of Gungeon and Gungeon modding, it's not that bad. But compared to your other sprites, it's not good. Because I've improved. Exactly. I mean, let's take a look at Dragon Scale, goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Scale yeah, used I to just be a sh a, 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 an almost pillow-shaded orange orb. Dude, it looked like a pile of poo, <laughs> literally. Uh, and now it actually looks uh, good. But yeah, um... It looks pretty solid now. Yeah, it looks Because I, I went back to the drawing board and a lot of my really old bad items. A as part of... Just in the same package as the optimizations, because I can. But, so currently I have, what was I saying? I have um, put all item sprites into a bundle in my mod, and I'm working on projectile sprites now. And then ah, I'm going to do okay. guns. Because I have to redo every animation from the and beginning. J just for anyone listening that doesn't know what that means, basically, it's just going to mean that when the game loads the assets, it's significantly quicker to load everything in. Yeah. And be because because Never Names mod is one of the largest in the uh, in Gungeon, it means that loading everything individually as it currently loads just takes significantly longer. So having them as asset yeah. bundles means they'll load a lot, lot quicker. It'll probably shave about a minute, maybe more, off the load time of the games. Maybe For small mods, more. it doesn't matter at all, but my mod is not a small mod. Yeah, I, I, gotta say, to, I don't know well, when to quit. Well, the thing is as well, like, obviously you weren't really privy to asset bundles before you started making your mod anyways, but even once you'd learnt about it, your mod, like, was still kind of small at that point, and it just kept growing. It, you didn't intend to set out to make a fucking massive mod. You just kept making shit because you had new ideas. Yeah, I'm a parasite. I just keep eating. I'm like a tumour that undergoes metastasis, and it just spreads to other parts of the game. Imagine if this little boxing glove item works on every blood tick. Oh, we can only dream. That would be fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, something, you know, I, I'm i sympathetic to why they would think that's not a good idea. They're you know, wrong. Do we have Curse of Sludge? Because I've been wondering why things are exploding into poison. I never actually internalized yes, yes, that it was happening. Okay. Um, but yeah, basically, when the game starts, my mod has to turn all the sprites... First of all, it has to pack all of them. Which means jam them into the Gungeon Sprite Atlas, which is just a big image with all the sprites on it. Yeah. So it has to pack all of them, which means finding space for them. So it has to calculate spaces for every single sprite and then inject them all in, which takes time. Uh, especially because apparently Gungeon Sprite Packing is... Or either Gungeons or the APIs is very inefficient. 
So it takes even longer than it realistically should. Exactly. And then... Uh, it has to take those sprites and build animations as well. Yeah. And I don't know if I don't know if making animations takes much time, but it actually takes me a lot of time. So for more complicated animations, it's actually faster to make them in an asset bundle. Yeah. Well, I very much want curse bullets here. So what can we what can we trade? I guess the that. boxing gloves. Hmm. What tier are the boxing gloves? Yeah, I suppose I'm not really getting much use out of those at the minute, am I? They are B. Let's try it. Yeah! Cool. I like that, it's a cool shop. Yeah, it's it could stand idea. to be a bit more intuitive, but at least there's a sign. Derringer's Sack. Oh, boy. The old tool of the God of Harvest. Derringer contains anything you need. Oh, so it's a choice pickup. I see. Right, so Not it's bad. Just three choice pickups. Not bad. I don't mind that at all. Um, Der <laughs> Derringer's sack. You tickle it and keys come out. <laughs> tickle it and it keys on you. I didn't it mean to put that gun in. Actually, I meant to put the trash cannon in, but oh well. Crossbow. What you actually, put in? Not, um, I put in the uh, the R key by accident. Oh, whoops. Rip. Not not a huge loss, but not exactly Rip what I was Bozo. intending. Unfortunately, all the um, all the weapons that I've found in shops thus far haven't been really my sort of cup of tea. Oh, excuse me, you fat waff! How dare you! I don't stay, know. Stay locked down, I boy. Think, I think locking bosses in place is, like, really powerful. <laughs> it is, but it doesn't lock them in place for long. Yeah, because it's, it's really powerful. Yeah, it is. <gasps> Lama configurum. Hell yes. Unfortunately, weapon-wise, I'm in a really shit spot here, so... Lama, you're going to have to give me something very tasty. Gonna eat the gun? Eat the gun? Yeah, tasty. You gonna eat it? You fucking I'm not gonna, weirdo. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat the hot glue gun. That's that's for dude. When I was a kid, I did <laughs> so much weird shit with hot glue guns. I thought you were gonna say I ate so much glue. <laughs> you would think so, wouldn't you? But actually, <laughs> no. <laughs> I never swallowed it. Did you not swallow? It's like, yeah, that's good. No, I only, I only chewed. When only I was a chewed. kid, I chewed all sorts of things I should not have chewed. And I don't know why I'm saying when I was a kid, because as an adult, I still chew all sorts of things that I shouldn't chew. <laughs> like... Plastic. Plastic, like the bottles take, that I are take... under your feet right now. No, they're they're un or they're slightly nibbled, but I don't really chew on them. Slightly um, nibbled. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I'm invisible, but the fucking the, the turrets still know I'm here. Fix it, bunny. How dare fix you, it. bunny? Come, come out of retirement to fix it. Um. No, so I I take meds. For uh, my brain. Your funky, wonky little Sh brain. Shocker. And I take them in a little plastic container. Like, I, I, I get given this this medicine calendar and I pull off a bit of few, some, some meds and I scrape them off and I. And, and, then I, and then all I'm left with is this plastic shell. And I put it to one side and I say, I'm not going to chew it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm an adult man. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to put it in my mouth like a toddler who's teething. And then like three seconds later, I'm just full on chewing on this piece of 
like shop plastic. <laughs> what the fuck's this little goober? This, this There's literally an arrow that that points to it. That points no, no, to no. the enemies. The the guy the, the person that's buffing these dudes. Where's the buffer? Oh, there he is. Um But yeah, I'm I should not be like allowed small parts not suitable for children, that's that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Man. You have regressed. But when I was a kid, I would, like, squirt out globs of hot glue. And then once they solidified, I'd put them in my mouth and chew them. Okay, that, yeah. So so when I said you ate them and you were like, no, no, no. You did eat them. <laughs> I didn't swallow them. Mm, I, 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 I fail to I fail to believe that none of that made it made its way into your stomach. I ever. masticated. I did not swallow. <laughs> I, I don't know. Seems pretty sus to me. Are you fucking kidding me? I just paid three point five cares for a map. You have curse bullets. Oh, well, yeah, but I have Lamet configuring for getting curse. Skill issue. That um, is devastating. So the um, when I was a kid, I would do a lot of craft projects with hot glue because I was one of those craft freaks back in the day. And then you, I realized you, it's you, much easier you, to make you, things on the computer. You would have been one of those kids that watches Troom Troom and stuff, wouldn't you? No, I hate Troom Troom. No, but, but I mean, when I'm, you were a child... I'm also you an adult have, man. You, when you were a child, you would, have, you would have been watching Troom Troom like it's crack. When I was a kid, I watched Club Penguin. Good old Club Penguin. I'm still so sad that they killed Club Penguin. I know, how dare they? It's like they fucking bombed it. Like, Disney Orbital striked Penguin to be fair, Island, and nothing to be, is left there. To be fair, the vast majority of people left playing it were YouTubers doing speedruns to see how quickly they could get banned. Yeah, but that was because it was public knowledge that it was shutting down. Yeah. So everyone had said their goodbyes, and then all, all that was left were, like, people, like, with 300 alt accounts making swastikas with orange penguins. <laughs> Dude, I, I had so many so many good times back in the day on Club Penguin. I was I was like a, the happiest ten year old. They should have made a sequel called Clubbing Penguins. <laughs> Clubby the Seal. <laughs> but um, man, you will never know tr the true romance of having a Club Penguin girlfriend who you oh, talked to twice. <laughs> that's that's Pete. No, right so there. so the difference is the difference is. Did you tell people at school you had a girlfriend because of it? Because that's when you know. That's when no, you know. no. It was my it was my secret. You see, because I didn't want anyone to know. Because then I'd be embarrassed. So what we would do is I would invite her to my igloo, and we would just spam heart emotes at each other. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Really, it's it's no wonder I was diagnosed early with autism. <laughs> uh, uh, I just found that funny. Two 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 little two little autistic kids just just having their first experience of love, which is incomprehensible from real love. <laughs> yeah, uh, it wasn't love. She was just a girl who was like, ooh, ooh, do you you do this was actually this was you, before ooh, ooh. You don't even it know like, it was a girl, man. <laughs> To be fair, I don't, but, like, uh, I don't care. <laughs> you know, if, if it... If it... <laughs> if it looks like a girl and quacks like a girl... <laughs> yeah. Shall I take the laundromat rifle? Yeah, go for it. So... Let's go. I... I was, like... The most cringe child. 
do you do you have childhood cringe? Yeah, I have I have something similar. I I, I basically got a uh, not quite a girlfriend, but similar through I, Call I of Duty. I think this qualifies. I think this qualifies as not quite a girlfriend, dude. Come on. Yeah. Club Penguin girlfriend is like the People's Republic of China. Yeah. Um. What when I was like, I don't know, like twelve or thirteen, probably about thirteen. Uh. Yeah. Probably thirteen. Um. I uh, I had a, a Call of Duty girlfriend for a while. That I literally Is that just more a, or just, less humiliating. Just a just a girl that I met in a Call of Duty lobby. She was actually a girl, at least I know that for a fact. Um, hey, but, uh, don't tell me my love was fake. <laughs> she spammed but, heart emojis at me in my igloo. Like I, I, I met her through Call of Duty, and we just used to like eventually we play Call of Duty together, and then we used to like Skype and stuff, and that was kind of it. Um, and um, oh god, what's going on in here? This is this is all sorts of messed up. Um, Oh my lord. There's a key over here. Okay, good. Um, yeah, and then like, we, we, we spoke for a, quite a long time until I was like about 16. And she was really, really bipolar. Like, sh one day, she'd be like, all like, oh, I, literally, I love you, you're the best, all this sort of stuff. And the next day, she'd be like, I hate you, don't fucking talk to me. Um, and she, like... Ah. I, I, I started to Crazy talk to her. Bitches. I started to talk to her less and less, just because it was draining. Like you just never knew she was gonna be a good mood or not. And then I remember, like I think it was about maybe a week or so after I met Katie and started speaking to my now current girlfriend. She like messaged. Uh, she, she, I'd been playing GTA and I hadn't been on it with her. And she messaged me like, "I can't believe you didn't invite me to play GTA or something like that." And she she like went off on me for something, and I literally just blocked her on everything and never spoke to her again. She said you cheated on her with. Grand theft. I was like, this, this, this isn't worth the effort or time or anything. It wasn't even anything at that point. So I was like, this isn't worth it. I'm just gonna not talk to her ever again. What I if, found better what people. What if she was the one? <gasps> My God. That that's actually Katie. She like <laughs> made an alt account yeah. and stalked you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm really not doing too well at not getting hit. Honestly, the darkness is throwing me off quite a bit. This is this is a pretty tricky curse sometimes. Um, what was I but saying? Yeah, def definitely got that cringe. I also had the cringe of I, I I did what the Fortnite kids do nowadays. I, I did I did the bad. Shoot up I, schools? No, I I I used my parents' credit card to buy loot boxes in Team Fortress Two. The Fortnite kids buy loot boxes in TF2? Not in Team Fortress 2, but they, they, they buy their V-Bucks. Uh, I, I did that with the original loot box. I was a, a trendsetter. You went to a casino? <laughs> it was, uh... Yeah, I, did, I did get some good items out of it, I'll be, I'll be honest. I got some, some good resale value. I, but... I fucking committed... I committed theft. Worth it, baby. <laughs> Um, what does shoulder holes to do? When you shoot, it has a chance to shoot a duplicate bullet in a random direction. Mm, okay. Oh, hello. What? 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 Is, is this is this just an infinite ammo but high damage start again? Um. S tier, art mecha transforms into the player's starting gun, but three times bigger. Every stat is the same as the original guns, but bullets damage is five times higher. Nice. That seems pretty useful. Sure. This wasn't even your starter gun, though. Was it not? Oh, no, it is. No, like, no, it I'm, is, thinking, it is. I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of last run. I'm dumb. Um... It is. I, I have so much shit that I just am not comfortable talking about because I'm terrified that, like, I'm terrified of it coming back. How about we bring my, it all out in this video in front of my everyone? Past, <laughs> my past will haunt me forever. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think everyone has... The everyone... crime that I committed...
everyone has at least maybe four or five things that they did as a like when they were younger that they will never admit to anyone because it's so cringe or weird or you just never want people to know. Everyone has those. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't, then you you were you weren't a kid. <laughs> but like you will gladly admit to RuneScape scamming. Oh yeah, I I I fucking loved that shit. That that was like my most enjoyable pastime as a child was scamming people on you RuneScape. Should, well, what currency do they use in RuneScape? I don't remember now. Isn't it just gold? Yeah, you should get a tattoo of like Thug Life with a picture <laughs> of RuneScape gold beside it. Oh, and anyone asks you like, oh, yeah, yeah, I used with, to be a pretty hardcore little, criminal. With a little like nine 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 M text next to it. I don't even know what that means. Like the 999 mil. Like million. Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, because in the inventory, like, your money stacks, and, like, the higher the stack, the, the bigger the gold looks, like, the, sp the bigger the sprite is, sort of thing. Yeah. And then when yeah. people ask, like, what, oh, what gang tattoo is that? You're like, nah, you should be a hardcore... I'm a lone wolf. I used to be a hardcore criminal back in the day. I just... Like, I, I really enjoyed, I mean, one of the main reasons I played RuneScape even after the scamming was, was because, um, like, I, I really enjoyed, like, the art of the deal. Like, trying, trying to trade your way into the better stuff. The, the art of the deal. Um, and that, that began with just scamming, you, basically you trying- nine years old reading The Art of the <laughs> yeah. Deal by Donald Trump. But it started off with, obviously, me just scamming people to- gain something for nothing, but eventually once I'd got banned and, and had to live through my punishment, um, ooh, hello, um, holy water gun, I'm guessing it does more damage to jammed enemies, does quadruple damage to jammed, yes, uh, redu killing a jammed enemy reduces curse by one, excuse me? What? Hmm. That so, seems... What's the point, then? What's the point in dealing quadruple damage to jammed if after 10 kills you have no more jammed enemies Luke, ever again? Look, I think, I think it's literally for the situation you're in right now where you have an item that generates curse. I guess so. But wouldn't it be more like... You can, of... you can use the Lament Configurum infinitely and never summon Lord of the Jammed. Yeah, but I want I want to for curse bots. Um, But... Wouldn't it make more sense to, like, be a chance to reduce the curse? Not every jammed enemy killed. That seems insane. Maybe. That's not the most insane thing, though. Although, you did just get that from a blue chest. Yeah, like... Blue chest item. Never have curse again. Although, I do like the theme of a holy water gun. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a really good, like, thing. Oh, I've just unlocked these. Thank you. Oh, and it's a synergy as well. What with? What's the synergy? Show me, show me, show me. Blood, oh, blood wash. wash. Nice. I like it. So, the muzzle flash of the gun now inflicts bleeding. And I think ah, it, like, okay. does a, has, like, slightly better stats. Yeah, yeah. And it, it seems to actually leave blood as well when I hit enemies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because the clothes are bloody now. That's a cool idea. I like that. It's a reference to a horror game. There's a horror game about an angry adult baby that, like, crawls up inside you and steals your child. Hmm. Fun game. And they set it in a laundromat, and I think that's fun. You never check. Never I check. spent a you key on you, check. you bastard. Fucking idiot. You never check. I am a fucking idiot. That's my brand. My brand. Um, good, good. God, it's incredible to me how quickly I lose my train of thought. Yeah, I do that quite a lot too. Do you know what really, you know what really annoys me? Thinking... Like. You, you you probably couldn't do, like, your own YouTube series like this, because it would be so frustrating for you to be talking about a, a really interesting topic, and then get distracted, and then never talk about it again. Oh, that... Oh, that, would that be, like... 
listening to Grandpa recount his stories in the dementia yeah, ward. Yeah, like... Like, back when I was your age, we went to war in Nam, and I met this voodoo witch who put a hex on me, and, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, I absolutely hate it when I'm, like, watching, there's a, a lot of YouTubers do it, I'm sure I've done it a few times, but I absolutely hate it when, like, a YouTuber's talking about an interesting story, an interesting topic, and then they just absolutely blue ball you by, like, just switching topic and never returning to the original topic. Um. Yeah. Where did my gun go? So where's my gun? So where Maybe is? Maybe it's it? enshrined in the black smoke at the bottom of the screen. <gasps> ah. Fucking butterfingers, man! You dropped another. Oh no, you didn't. Picked it back up. You're, Wait, you're why can this guy not hurt? Than I... Does that does it count uh, as fall damage getting hit by this guy? What items do you have? I, I uh, oh wait, I have this. No contact damage. Oh I yeah. See. I see. I see. And that's a vanilla item. Yeah. I just completely forgot. I've been considering doing a Gungeon card pack for inscription. Just Gungeon themed cool, cards. Yeah. That'd be cool. But at the same time, I'm lazy and I don't want to. I don't know how to design all the cards to be cool. Yeah, it's thinking about the gameplay, like. of this. It's difficult, isn't it? Oh, wait, they're. They're both the same size now. Fixed it! Except you're holding it weird. Yeah. Laser beams. Yeah, another good gun. Ooh, if I had a beam, I'd run right from there. There you go. Yeah. That's pretty cool that it can do that. I like that. That's shoulder holster, baby. Good old shoulder holster. But yeah, right. I was thinking, like, if I made a Gungeon card pack, what act would I set it in, even? Would it be... Would it be Leshy? Would it be PO3? Would it be Act 2 with all of them? Would it be Grimora? Grandma? I think Grandma. I just needed my... Be... I... Man, fuck you. I yeeted there's it two into guns the on fucking... The floor. Where? It says on the map, there's two guns on the floor. Oh wait, there's one here. Oh. How did it survive? I really thought they were going to the pits. I don't know. Cry about it. Nah, I'm fine. I love saying that when people say that something good happened to them. It's like, I don't know, cry about it. <laughs> oh, looks like my grandfather's gonna survive. Ah, oh, cry about <laughs> cry it. Cry about it. Um. Oh, my. Uh, this morning, I, I walked out to find that a bottle of wine had just smashed in the middle of the floor. In your house. <laughs> yeah. Don't know, like, because, like, no one remembers where it was. Man, this curse is going to give me a fucking aneurysm. Fuck's sake, I hate it. <laughs> it's okay, an aneurysm wouldn't make you any dumber. I don't... Fucking that like it. was so fucking lucky. Did you see what just happened? Yeah, I killed that guy right next to me without even seeing he was there. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Um. So, yeah. So a wine bottle somehow either jumped off a shelf or out of the wine rack, um, and just smashed itself in the middle of the floor. So I, I hear this thud. I come out, wine spilling all over the ground. I grab a towel and start. Oh, I pick up the broken glass and I start mopping it up and nobody fucking knows what did it because I checked on my brother he was in his room I checked on the dog and she was just up sleeping on the bed very strange I don't know Some spooky I don't know. ghost spooky ghost yeah a ghost did it a ghost is oh lord I very nearly died <laughs> yeah mum got home and uh, sm smelled wine and her first response was who's been drinking without me <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. I'm the product of this family. And 
we haven't even spoken about you have D and D group now, and been doing. Oh yes, D &D. I do. I have a D and D group. Uh, I'm not the GM, but they all meet at my house, and we make a lot of dick jokes, and it's very fun. <laughs> How many of you? Because we're all there's uh there's six players and one game master. Nice. I say I've been playing a bit of D&D recently, but our our sessions are a lot fucking harder to organize when everyone has jobs that actually have schedules. Oh, boo, cry about it. Some of them have jobs. Oh, it's like, we were supposed to play before Christmas and we never had the time. It's annoying. Yeah, we killed a golem. And I made friends with a table. <laughs> nice. I, um... I, I seduced a woman um, into giving me a very hefty discount at a shop when the clothes were already extremely cheap. Out of the deal, baby! Yeah. Out of the deal, we're bringing it I, back! Uh, I, I, I asked my, my GM if I could charm the woman, because basically, my my uh, I'm a warlock, but um, I'm also a changeling, which means that obviously I can change my appearance to well, quite a few different things. have, like, bonkers, the charisma yeah. cast. So, 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 so like... the, charis the charisma's already high, but changelings also let you boost your charisma. So I started with 19 charisma, so... Um, you fucking cheater. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of insane. Um, and I was like, okay, it's my GM. I was like, can I can I just try and like seduce the ever-living hell out of this woman to try and get better prices? And I rolled a 20. <laughs> you might um, want to start looking into um, using your holy water pistol because you're, you're almost at Lord of the Gen. That yeah, that that I am yeah. Let's uh, let's use my holy water pistol for one more uh, one kill. Once I see a jammed enemy, that is. I'm really not liking the goddamn fire everywhere. Also, did you know that it's actually possible to get negative curse in vanilla? Well, I like that effect. Negative curse, is it? Oh shit. Yeah, it doesn't do anything as far as I know, but it um. If you use the cleansing shrine and then drop cursed items, it drops your curse below zero. Ah. It should do something. It's, That'd be cool. It doesn't have an effect on jammed enemies. It might fuck up the loot system. I just have to recheck the code on how that works. It depends. It it literally just depends on if they if they clamped the value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it if it can't if the loot table stuff can actually be tweaked below zero. Yeah. 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 Um, but that's just so strange to me, and I have to fucking, like, clarify that on the curse page, because it's not really mentioned. With all these, um... With all the stats, I try and... Uh, bring up what... Hap like interesting side cases and for most of them it's like if this stat is negative then uh this will happen however this is not possible to occur in game yeah and, uh however with curse i have to be like this is possible because this the code bad because the code bad oh dude silver bullets too are you if that was me? a mimic if that was a mimic i would have pissed myself laughing Bit late to get it in the game, but this is a very good combo. Oh yeah, this is one of the best synergies in the game. It's so yeah, cool. it is. It's like platinum bullets. The synergy. It's silver bullets. No, but platinum bullets increases your damage for every kill, right? And silver bullets plus cursed bullets but makes it so every but kill it's for on jammed bullets. enemy. Well, but it's for shut up, you. Silver and platinum are different elements. They have different atomic weight. I don't know why nah, you get this confused. They're exactly the same. Anyone that thinks different is a goober. <sighs> I'm an alchemy believer. <laughs> God, alchemy that'd be so funny I. to like to create like some sort of faux pop religion where it's alchemism, where you just <laughs> you just take a bunch of old alchemy and you're just like, yes, I will turn piss into gold. It sounds like alcoholism, but alchemyism. <laughs> Turning piss into gold is the next, probably the next fucking Nile Red video. <laughs> yeah. I'm an alchemaholic. 
an alcoholic. Oh, this is one room. This is one room. Oh, I yeah, I found this one the fucking first episode back. It's insane. Luckily, the room uh, of all time. Luckily, I it's, have the. It's literally bloody every bullet kin in the game. Yeah. Luckily, having bullet, uh, bloody nine millimeter makes this a lot easier. Definitely one of, if not the rooms of all time. That that joke is 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 getting to the point of being very overplayed nowadays. Every single YouTube comment is like, "This is the video of all time." It's like, ah, we get it. You've made your funny ha ha. We get it. <laughs> it's so funny that you just ran into that bullet. I know. No, but you, you have to understand when the meme becomes like really dead and played out. It's that's funny. When it's, oh, like, for fuck's sake, the fire! Okay, luckily I don't take pit damage. Good. I, it's like it's like a fine wine has to gestate on the kitchen shelf for <laughs> a, a year until it falls off on the until floor. It falls onto the up. floor, yeah. Um. No, no. Memes are like are like wine. When they start getting like horrible and bitter, that's when they're good. That's when they've matured. Nobody who drinks wine actually likes wine. Yeah, wine is wine is actually disgusting. I don't know how anyone pretends to like it. It has a nice smell, and that's it. One one of my favorite um, quotes in Peep Show is uh, a bit where they're they're going out for dinner and um, he's he like he's taking a girl out for a date and her, so he's paying so she orders a bottle of wine she gets a really expensive one and when he tries it he goes ooh that is lovely not really nice like a milkshake or coke but it is nice. <laughs> And that's how I feel about wine. It's like, yeah, you can be the most expensive wine ever, but it's never going to taste as good as, like, hot chocolate. <laughs> so true. There was a place that uh, sold really nice cold, like, ice chocolates here, mm. and they shut down. Ah. <laughs> uh, do you know, actually, something similar happened to me. Um, there's this place um, in, like, uh, so near to where I live, there's, like, a sort of little shopping outlet place, and... There's this one, this one storefront that's in a really bad location. It's like up some stairs and around the back of the other shops. So it's kind of hard to find. You you don't walk there normally. And basically every shop that, that opens there ends up shutting. And a little place opened up that did like milkshakes and ice cream and stuff. And it was really nice. And I'm like, oh, it's doomed to failure. And I had one. It was great. And then like three weeks later, I went back and it was already shut down. It's like, God damn it. You, you encountered a witch. Yeah. You you went into a back alley, like, you had to go three times <laughs> around the alley, up the stairs, and knock three times to be let in. And they gave <laughs> you the most delicious milkshake of all time. And yeah. then you left, and when you came back, it was a brick just, wall. It was just gone, yeah. <laughs> if I you died, encountered a, here, a, a witch. <laughs> By that, the way... That is supernatural. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, it did kind of seem like that. By the way, I just want to know that in this fight here, do you know the fire... If it, yeah, spawn, if it spawns right here, you just instantly take damage and there's no way you can avoid it. I know. I know. Stop giving me this judgmental silence. Fuck you, I hope the witch eats you and makes you do a milkshake. <laughs> That's what the milkshake was. It was just like the ground up burns of the children she's captured. That's why it tastes ah, so good. Hello, little man. Would you like to try the cum sh I mean the milkshake. Oh, Lord. It's, uh, it's salted caramel. Oh, God. What kind of things can caramelize? What kind of things can caramelize? Sugar? Yeah, because like, like you, well, no, but like, so is it just anything with sugar in it? Like, I, know I think you can so. Yeah, caramelize vegetables. I think it is. Yeah. So like anything, okay. So you would have to add sugar to the semen to caramelize it. Unless you just eat a really, really high amount of sugar, and maybe it'll pass through. <laughs> Diabetes, man. We need I you. I mean, they, they say that pineapple taste passes through into it, so maybe, maybe like. Someone that's yeah, someone that's like eating yeah, they, uh, pounds they of sugar lied. a day. Yeah. <laughs> I 
This is where I keep the man pig and I feed him <laughs> troughs full of sugar to get <laughs> semen. <laughs> oh, they should medicate me. They should medicate they me into do a drooling mess me. so I stop saying things like this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> they clearly don't medicate me enough. My God, we did a thing. We unlocked stuff. We had a good run. I feel like I'm somewhat competent at Gundren nowadays. It's 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 a whole new era. A whole new era. Oh no, you still ran into a lot of bullets. I like, did. That was really bad. You should be ashamed. But I clutched it up in the end, so it's fine. Either way, I hope you guys did. Thoroughly enjoy this madness of this two-parter episode, essentially, where we talk about crazy shit. Um, we're gonna go play some Skyrim now, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys. By which in a he means bit. that he's gonna play Skyrim, and I'm just gonna be here to bully me, yeah, and figure out yeah. what's going on. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh